Hello every reader, writer or watcher and welcome to the first ever video on my channel. My name is Owen Williams and this is Owen Williams' Stories. The reason I created this channel is I want to bring books into the 21st century. Now if you're watching this you probably do read a lot, but what I want to do is I want to make more people read a lot. One thing that I found very shocking in my school is a lot of people really don't like to read, which gave me a lot of friends when I was little. And I really want to help, like just in my own little way, to help a lot of people read. Now this is my third take which is very annoying, but let's not dwell on that. And um, because reading is such an vital part of life, I thought this would be a very good thing to do. So what I'm doing is I will upload three videos a week, two book reviews and one top ten. My book reviews will be, the five parts of my book review will be an overview of the book, what I liked about it, what I didn't like, what I didn't understand and what I wanted more of. So if this sounds overly negative, but yeah. I'm just going to hop straight into it because I really hope my camera doesn't run out of use. These videos will probably be about five to ten minutes long each. So let's just hop straight into it. So, first of all, the overview. The very was written by Norton Just because he was an architect and he was writing an architectural book. But I do not know the specifics of that. But he wasn't enjoying it. So he decided to write a book. And when it became so popular with his friends and family, they deci he decided to actually make it a real book. And it became a success. Now, one of the uh, most controversial things about the Phantom Pro is how it was um, accepted by the reading community. There's two ways I've seen it read. I don't understand or I love it. Those are the only two ways I've ever seen anyone see it. Now, I don't understand usually comes from, this is quite a confusing book with a lot of wordplay and references that someone who doesn't read a lot or doesn't like listen to the little things in school won't really get. So you've got to kind of be an experienced reader to get to know this book and really love it. I'm not trying to say I'm experienced because I really haven't read that much, but it's just I've read this book so many times that I, and I looked at a lot of stuff. So I really like it. Um, I don't want to make this overview too long just because no reason be just too long. Let's go on to the proper part of the book review. What I liked about it. The Phantom Tollbooth has a bunch of phenomenal characters. And uh, like Dr. Living Smoke, the giant who's also a midget, who's also a fat man, who's also a thin man. You know, I've explained that twice and it takes so long to explain. Just just read the book. The King of Words Music, the King of Language. It is so beautiful, but my favourite character has to be Talk the Dog. Who I love so 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 much. Yes, you can actually just see him there, like closest on your left. Anywho, continuing on, what I love about this book is the wide variety of characters. My name is Phenomenal Cloud, but there are so many other great characters in this book, and there's great moments like the Valley of Silence, the city that disappeared, the opera that controls the freaking universe. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. What this book is made of is a bunch of different tiny things, like little stories, like a sitcom. Like, and it's just them traveling and seeing little stories. One of my personal favorites is when they jump to conclusions. They literally jump to conclusions. And I love that so much. Just, I really recommend this to anyone who likes to read. This is such a beautiful book. And I love it so, so much. And the ending is so beautiful. This is probably like the most emotional I'll ever get in a book review. Anywho, let's continue before. Quickly, on. What I didn't like. Now, the one thing that I did not like about the Phantom Tollbooth was, um, the bad guys, the villains. The villains are called the demons in this book, and you don't get any character development for them at all, which I find really sad because characters like the Joker and Loki in DC and Marvel films are such phenomenal villains because you actually kind of see their side of things. And I feel like that could be a more interesting thing if we kind of find out why the demons are doing this. I'm not going to spoil that, don't worry. So I feel like that's a very important thing for people to know in a book. So yeah, I feel like. If there was a little more about the demons, this book would have been somehow even better. I don't know what I did not understand. And now, what I didn't quite understand about this book was, um, I really don't want to spoil this, so I'm trying to think of something, <laughs> was where this world is. Now, this isn't something that actually ever bugs me in the book, but it doesn't really bug anyone. So, he travels to a magical land, that's kind of obvious. And, well, you never get where it is. That doesn't actually bug me. The, the land of knowledge, 
I personally don't think it's a real place, so it doesn't bug me that you never find out where it is. Yeah, so I'm. That's probably going to be a much more in depth section because there's a lot of things in books I don't understand. There'll be a much more in depth section on other episodes. Moving on. And so the final section, this is going to be quite a short first video. I'm sorry, but I do have a top 10 tomorrow. And the final thing is what I wanted more of. Now, I'm not going to say I wanted more. I didn't like how there was so little character development for the bad guys. For the good guys, which is 99% of the characters that you meet, you only see them for one chapter, then you don't see them at all, like that much afterwards. And I feel like that's kind of wrong. Because you did a lot of character development for Talk, Humbug, and Milo, the three main characters, but there were so many other great characters that I listed off earlier that I would love to see more of. The one that I would definitely love to see more of is the Dissertating City. I'll let you just read that because that is such a beautiful thing. I do need to end this off now because I run out of things to say and I really don't want to have to redo this video. So I'll leave you with this one last line. And this is the only line in the book that I've ever learned straight off by heart. There once was a boy named Milo who didn't quite know what to do with himself. Not just some times, but all times. So without further ado, I hope you all really enjoy this and will try out reading this book. Um, I cannot wait to, to start a top 10 next week. I'm still thinking about what I'm going to do. But I really hope you guys enjoy it and want to read this book at all. If you have any books that you want me to review any top 10 ideas, leave them in the comments down below. It all has to be book related, however. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of Book Reviews. I really hope you enjoyed it because I love this book and I hope you enjoy reading this book if you do. Have a dog test. Oh, that's my other channel. Bye. Have a book reading day and Owen Williams out. <laughs>